Hey guys, here's Divya with another set of you know prelims. I'm um, sorry, plums. And again, five five MCQs daily. And today is the turn of geography, and today is Tuesday. So hope you guys are really studying well and watching all our videos, and you know giving your preparation a really good boost. And today is a uh, it's it's me Divya, and I'm taking geography. MCQs and if you practice the right way definitely no one can stop you from clearing UPSC this is our motto so now let us begin and please do not forget to subscribe you uh, Vaishya's channel it is very important and like these videos if you are really enjoying these videos if you are getting benefited by these videos right so the first MCQ so development of high pressure in the northern region western disturbance from west and northwest then tropical cyclones near bay of bengal and indian ocean these are the characteristics of which of the following seasons in the indian subcontinent right so these are the characteristics which have there you know some features which uh, you know they have mentioned like development of high pressure in the northern region then western disturbance from west and northwest and then tropical cyclones near the bay of bengal and indian ocean region so i think you know you should get a very good hint you have gotten a very good hint so which uh, you know season they are talking about here so pause the video guys and answer the question and do you know comment your answers here uh, also your scores so let us see it is simple uh, winter season of course because the development of high pressure in the himalayan and in the northern parts happens uh, happens during that time and because of that you know we we see the surface winds as a result of which you know of this high pressure and then it reaches india as a dry continental air mass and then there is also you know western disturbances and uh, then western cyclonic disturbances happen from the western northwest and then also uh, during that time we get you know tropical cyclones over the bay of bengal and the indian ocean region now the second mcq which of the following is the successor instrument of the to the hyogo framework for action right hyogo framework action for action uh, which was held in 2005 to 2015 I mean the span was 2005 to 2015 after that there was one uh, another instrument signed right so which one is that if it is uh, you know I have to answer if it is Paris Agreement COP21 on climate change or sustainable development goals or Sendai framework or environmental and social management framework right so pause the video guys you know the drill and answer let us see so it is C Sendai framework is a successor instrument to the uh, Hugo uh, framework for action right so Sendai framework for disaster reduction it is you have to also remember for what it is right we are you know uh, what we are talking about so this framework is for reduction of the uh, disaster yeah, right for, for disaster then uh, it's, it spans from 2015 to 30 and it was adopted at the third United Nations World Conference on disaster reduction in Sendai that is in Japan in 2015 and then as I told it is a uh, instrument uh, which is successor to the Hyogo framework for action and it is aimed at understanding disaster risk strengthening disaster risk governance to manage disaster risk investment investing in the disaster risk reduction for resilience right now the third MCQ let us move on so consider the following statements right so some statements are given if and we have to tell whether these statements are correct or not so the first statement says most of the peninsular rivers originate in the western ghats second statement says the jindha uh, uh, okay second statement says the jindha uh, jindha gada uh, peak it is located in the arku valley of andhra pradesh third statement says the eastern ghats comprises the rivers tapti shravati sharavati and mahi so which of these statements are correct that we have to you know uh, answer options are 1 and 2 only 1 and 3 only 2 and 3 only and all of the above right so you know the drill guys pause the uh, you know video answer so the answer is a so most of the peninsula rivers they originate in the western cards right and then the jindagada peak is the uh, is it is located in the uh, eastern Ghats and it is the highest peak in the eastern Ghats that you have to remember that is why it is being included here and then Tapti, Sh Sharavati and Mahi they are west flowing rivers and they are not you know they are not from the eastern Ghats right here you can see it is not there these rivers do not 
uh, you know they not, do not comprise the eastern ghats they are not a part of the eastern ghats but these are west flowing rivers now the fourth question so which of the followings are the characteristics of mediterranean mediterranean climate right so these are some statements uh, given let us see now one by one and which of these are correct that we have to tell so the first statement says it is also known as winter rain climate um, winter rain climate owing to the westerly belt shift second statement says it is also known as world's orchard lands third statement it is characterized by a short span of summer and it is spread over i mean the fourth statement says it is spread over parts of chile southern uh, australia uh, southwestern tip of africa right your options are 1 and 2 1 2 and 3 1 3 and 4 1 2 and 4 and all of the above right so let's see answer c is i mean the option c is correct answer so um, as you can see 1 2 and 4 so the concept of mediterranean climate it is actually characterized by long and hot summers not the short span summers are actually high and you can see the latitude here right uh, so it is this type of climate is mostly found on the uh, western margins of the continents right and the latitudes between between you know it is uh, it lies are 30 to 40 degrees right and it is um, it is actually close to the mediterranean sea that's why the name so mediterranean region it mostly receive most of their you know precipitation that is uh, they get rain in winter seasons and due to the because of the, you know westerly they when they shift towards the equator side not to not towards the pole side polar side right it is when when it shift towards the equator side they get the precipitation that is winters that's why it is called uh, you know winter rain climate and it is you know this mediterranean region is ideal for the orchard farming and that's why because uh, how do i say those those summer are actually ideal for the orchard farming that's why and it is known as the name uh, the uh, that you know region is known as the uh, known with the name world's orchard lands right now the final mcq fifth one so which of the following is the main cause of land degradation in the state punjab right in india, uh, in india so options are intensive cultivation over irrigation deforestation over grazing so i think this is a very very uh, you know how do i say Uh, it uh, it requires common sense as well and very easy question also so let us see the answer now guys it is actually uh, you know irrigation over irrigation so land degradation in punjab is due to the over irrigation because there is do uh, uh, there is water logging and this uh, lead you know this turns the uh, land into alkaline alkaline and there is more salinity in the soil because of the over irrigation right now so let us wind up guys tomorrow we'll be we'll be back with another set of you know 5 mcqs all the best guys study well